Welcome back to the Geelong Cricket Show here on Channel 31. Our special guest this morning, very dedicated cricketer, used to play his junior cricket down at Port Ferry, then down at the Geelong Premier Cricket Club, now out at St Albans Breakwater. Justin Miller, St Albans Breakwater, Division 3 of the Geelong Cricket Association, one of two clubs in the uh, third division with a turf wicket, and you are charging along one round to go, 78 points, unbeaten, including three outrights, travelling well. Yeah, Rollo, look, I couldn't ask for a better start from the boys. Um, going along beautifully. Uh, not much else really can be said, I guess. We're going along well, yeah. Now, uh, you say you're going along well. You look at the performances of some of your key players, and uh, good morning to Cheryl. Uh, but uh, Jason Murray, 600 runs with the bat, uh, and some uh, 33 cricket wickets with the ball. One of the key elements in your side, but you've got depth in both batting and bowling, which must be very gratifying. Oh, look, Mazza is an absolute superstar, to be honest. You just, you just know he's going to do the job for you every time that he goes out there uh, with the bat or the ball, as you said. Um, and the, de the depth is really good. Like, we've got great top six batters, but, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, and even eleven can hang around and do a job for us. And that's been one of our things for the year. So, yeah, it's been, been great. Obviously, you're a cricketer, Justin, with a, a fairly good pedigree coming, uh, having played Premier Cricket down at the Geelong Cricket Club. What attracted you to St Albans? And, and were there any thoughts, potentially, the fact that because the club's GCA Division 3 may be saying no to the offer that they did put on the table? Ah, uh, look, a lot of my mates play down at uh, St Albans, so that was really a, a big, big thing for me to go there. I thought to myself, they're in Division 3, but look, I've played the best cricket I'm going to play. I might as well go back and play with my mates now. And then I got... Uh, to meet the president, Jock Irvine, and a lot of the committee down there. And you just see how dedicated these people are just to, just to the club. And they just love it. And that's what really got me on board. I would love the place now and then the people. One of the big decisions, uh, obviously made by the club at the end of last year, was to switch from the BPCA over to the GCA, install that turf wicket. And one of the reasons behind that, having spoken to Jock, was uh, to get some of the club's juniors back. And one of the uh, players that has happened to come back from Newcomen District is Chris Hester, a guy who's been... I think he's got his first century in, in the first 11 this year and playing some fantastic cricket batting at three for you. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, Hess has been great for us too. As you said, he's batting at number three. He's absolutely killing it for us there. And it, it's just great to have him back. And we've got Tommy Shields back across from Newcomb as well. He's a, another another great player for us. And, you know, we're, we're just loving it. And we, we, as you said, we want to keep the juniors there. We've got young lads like Mitch Hodgson, Corey Roberts, uh, you know, Blaine Wegner down there. And... We just can't afford these blokes to leave. It's such a family club, the juniors coming through, that we don't want them to get to, you know, their mid-teens and want to go somewhere else just, just to play on turf. That's why we've uh, got the turf there. And there's another good story in your top order as well. Pete Smith, a guy who was playing D-grade cricket or fourth 11 cricket, or I guess you call it now, in, in the GCA, and he was only playing in the one-day competition last year. He stepped up, got 380 runs for the year now, and showing that, I guess, uh, age is no barrier because he is getting on a little bit in years, but certainly one of the most talented batsman in GCA Division 3 at the moment. Yeah, look, Smith is an absolute superstar. He, um, as soon as I went down to the club, you could just see that he had the passion and, and the man could bat. So, you know, my uh, thing is you put your best players in your best teams and he's playing first. He's got it and he's one of our best batsmen, so he's in the first. Even though he might have played fourth last year, he's a great player. Now, viewers, this young man, when uh, he was uh, a little bit on the younger side, he used to travel from Port Ferry on a Saturday morning. He'd get the bus from Port Ferry to Warrnambool he get the train from Warrnambool to Geelong and he walked from the Geelong Railway Station down to the Geelong Cricket Ground to play cricket for the Geelong Premier Cricket Club. A lot of motivation there, Justin. What, what was the initiation behind uh, that, that thought process and sort of the... Because you'd have to be up at about five o'clock in the morning, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's right, Rollo. I was up pretty early. I, uh, well, the thoughts for coming down here was I just wanted to play the best I could and I was lucky enough to get that opportunity from Paul Anderson, who was the, the talent scout at the time and spotted me playing in one of the country leagues and gave me the opportunity to come down here, mate. And as I said, I love Geelong Career Club. I played there for 13 or so years and it was just a great place to be. And uh, the people there from right through from Ian Redpath, Ken Davis, back when my early years, right through like Glenn Ward, Dave Brainy, right through now to Damien Shanahan. It's just, just a great place to be and great people to play with. One of the big challenges of playing in the Division 3, Justin, is that you switch from hard wicket to turf wicket, which means switching your ball from a two-piece to a four-piece every second week for your boys, going from a home to away and onto those uh, hard wickets. How have you found that challenge, especially as a bowler yourself? Yeah, Tim, it's, uh, it's been difficult. I haven't played on hard wicket since I was probably under 16, so it really was a big eye-opener coming back uh, this year. And my 
uh, personal thing. I was running pretty quick when I bowled, so I was a bit worried about whether I'd slip on the uh, hard wickets, but I've managed to get through all right. And our deck down, down there at Geelong is um, absolutely fantastic. So, uh, yeah, I can't complain there. It's been great. And there are a few of the boys like uh, Jason Murray and Chris Jones that we did uh, mention a little bit earlier that have found that transition a little bit, bit easier considering playing in the BPCA last year. They were playing on the hard wicket. Uh, yeah, they've been great, Muzzer and uh, Chris Jones. They uh, have had no dramas at all. As you can see, Muzzer's just absolutely killing it with the runs and Chris Jones is leading the wicket. So those boys have had no dramas whatsoever. And facility-wise, when uh, we set up says St Albans Breakwater, uh, the St Albans Recreation Reserve, um, well established, has been recognised as a great uh, football facility. How's it transposed across to cricket wise? Uh, well, I, we've got the best facilities, I reckon, second second to none, maybe even um, around the place. The uh, club rooms there are fantastic. Uh, just the facilities there, the, the ground, the uh, the pitch is just fantastic. I couldn't ask for a better place to be playing if it wasn't going to be at Geelong. And we understand too, Justin, you'll probably have to face the prospect of playing on hard wicket to win finals. Obviously ha not having dropped a game, it's not something that's daunting uh, in, as such for the boys, but I imagine you'd rather be playing on your turf wicket at home. Ah, uh, look, we knew the competition when we come into it, that the finals would be on the hard wicket, so we, we can't complain. Um, probably from a personal point of view and a team point of view, we, we do like the turf, uh, playing, uh, playing on our home ground. But look, mate, we'll be ready to go on those hard wickets come finals time. There's been a few lopsided results this year, it's fair to say, in GCA Division 3, but how have you found the standard overall of the competition, Justin? And maybe who do you rate as your biggest threats to taking out the title this year? Uh, yeah, there has been some lopsided results, I guess, but those teams are really looking uh, for the future. They're uh, putting teams out every week and they're, they're getting juniors there, so they're, they're doing well. But, um, yeah, we have had a couple of close results this year. We've had a close couple of games against uh, Mudawari especially. We uh, only won by the two runs there, so they're obviously going to be a big threat to us. Also, Teesdale, they had us on the ropes. We, we managed to get out of that. And uh, pretty much, you know, Winchelsea, uh, it, you know, anyone around there, they're Lethbridge again, they're, they're all going to be a threat come finals time, but uh, we'll be ready. And Justin, uh, you're recovering from a back injury at the present time, so uh, starting to come back into form at the right time of the season as finals approach, to approach around the corner. Yeah, I uh, had a bit of an accident at work, falling off a ladder and uh, fracturing my back, so... Not the best warm-up, I guess, but um, look, you know, I'm starting to come back into it, as you said, so I'm really looking to hit finals running, yeah. St Norman's Breakwater hit finals running. They're unbeaten on top of the ladder on 78 points as we come into the second day of round 12 and then round 13 to be played. And Justin Miller proudly wearing the St Norman's Breakwater Cricket Club top here on the Geelong Cricket Show this morning as we go to a break and be back with a round-up of the GCA after this.